Happy August. I was in contemplation this morning, reflecting on several conversations with my friends and my clients and reflecting on personal experiences. And a thought came up that I wanted to dive deeper on with you today. You know how uh, igniting a fire in a vacuum is impossible? Well, this is kind of the topic we'll be diving into and it has to do with our conviction that in order to be able to speak our truth and live our truth, that in order to be able to really share our gifts and get paid for our gifts, we need to create a base and we need to prove ourselves and justify our worth and create XYZ that oftentimes is based on our excellence and not genius. So therefore it creates this vacuum around us that we keep trying to thrive in even though it's suffocating us because just like a vacuum with the lack of oxygen does not allow the fire to burn same goes here so the contemplation actually was inspired by several conversations as i mentioned and there was a pattern when i spoke to each and every one of those clients and my colleagues also uh each and every one of them has been raised to be strong fierce independent um, highly capable, highly driven, highly accomplished woman, and they all have uphold that expectation. Their careers, their businesses are out of this world. The work that they get to do and the lives that they get to impact are, there's no comparison, really life-changing, even life-saving work. And yet during the quarantine in particular, each and every one of those powerhouses found themselves in an environment surrounded with people who literally had the speed dial, <laughs> so to speak, to press on all those core wounds when they felt the need to continuously prove themselves justify their needs, justify their desires, walking on eggshells so that their partners, their parents, their families would be proud, that they would give them the nod of approval, that they would be considered difficult. Um, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Several of them are also mothers. So the pressure that they put themselves under was even greater because they kept striving to be this perfect version of a mom who always has it all together, who parents in a perfect way, only to create even more of the pressure because what happens when, and as a mom myself, I know firsthand, the weight of the pressure when we compare ourselves to what we think somebody else is expecting of us or what we think is the model of this perfection, we simply get out of our alignment, we simply get out of our track and everything becomes a struggle as opposed to being in a flow and ease. It is a struggle. And I get it, parenting doesn't always come naturally. It doesn't always come naturally for me. Um, personally, I'm not always the one who's like, oh my gosh, all I wanna do is play with my kids all day long. I'm not one of those women and I struggled a lot with that in the past, judging myself, guilting myself if not in not being good enough. Those same super powerful women have found themselves in partnerships, in relationships, in marriages that lack intimacy, that they lack this connection. Um, they're not feeling satisfied, they're not feeling heard, they're not feeling seen, they're not feeling desired. All of that that I just explained to you and I just illustrated to you is a pattern underlying uh, to an underlying wound of not being enough. Because for each and every one of them, once they realized and once they were able to overcome that belief system, that programming, this old paradigm, um, and it has been a pleasure to help them through that, each and every one of them realized that they are enough. That they no longer needed to justify their desires, their needs. They no longer need to put themselves in a um, position where they would beg for attention. They would beg for um, and plead for 
being heard and being seen, they commended that. What also happened was they no longer put their happiness, their satisfaction, their fulfillment in somebody else's hands because they knew at their core, they embodied that confidence, that clarity <sighs> on a cellular level. And I mean, the shift is incredibly humbling experience to observe and to facilitate and for my own personal life to experience too it's like the sky clears up and you're like oh wow look at all these limitless possibilities and now all of a sudden when you when you are being at that new level it's almost like everywhere that you turn you're now magnifying different opportunities you're magnifying and you're facilitating different conversations you're no longer available lower vibration doesn't even touch you it doesn't even get to you um and you're able to create a whole new world but it doesn't go it doesn't happen by by passing this work meaning by pigeonholing ourselves into this work of excellence pigeonholing ourselves into pushing and hustling and pursuing what we think is going to get us money or we think is going to get clients results we think is going to give us the results that finally are going to prove our worth it that's just that vacuum where it starts with is by giving ourselves permission to speak and to live our truth even when you don't have it all figured out even when we're still in a whole process of learning ourselves but we are through micro alignments we are getting closer and closer and closer and we are being more self-expressed and we are being more authentic and we are being closer to our truest truest version of who we are truly meant to be not hiding under all these layers that the society the family the um culture has put on us the current situation right the circumstances we are no longer victims of circumstances we command that space we command that energy we are in this energy so this is yes it's a deep mindset work it's a deep energetic work it's a spiritual work as much as strategic because every single step of the process is strategic literally leaping towards what we truly desire and want to create and it already is in our field of vision it already is so we are simply going towards what we truly want to create along the way realigning and reintegrating so this is such an important conversation to be have especially today right now when millions of women in particular are finding themselves striving for something more striving for something different striving to fulfill those deep desires and amazing visions that they have knowing that they're just getting started and yet they're holding themselves back because of all the fears all the doubt all the insecurities and all the stories that they took on as their own but they're not their own at all and um, as we're moving through this space in time when nothing is that it has ever been when we are surrounded by people who oftentimes were those who inflicted those wounds on us to begin with yes it's easy to get triggered and it's easy to just remove ourselves and try to bypass that work but it's like trying to play a game without practicing it's just not gonna happen right it just prolongs the whole process so my invitation to you is to literally dive right into the deep end roll up the sleeves be willing to do the work be open to do this work be daring to do this work and see how your life changes how your family dynamic changes how your relationship changes how your marriage changes how your business takes off and the legacy play you step into and i'll see you on the other side